You can't get more long-term than a tree, and that's exactly what this is. It's the bay tree, Loris nobilis, which we use as a fragrant herb to put into things like soups and stews. It's the leaves that you use, and they can be ginormous. In fact, I often walk the block. There's a few trees near here that are two or three storeys high. I don't have space for that, but I do want the convenience of this flavour in the veggie patch. So what I'm going to do is actually pot up a tree. I've got this kind of wayward specimen, which I must admit, when I went to the nursery, I could have picked a nice compact plant, but I think this is going to enjoy being potted up and it's going to give me great results. So it's a fantastic time to pot almost anything up. And if it's as pot bound as this is, you've got to take a few steps. One is to root prune. So you can see I've got that pot already filled about, well, just over a third. And then I'm just going to check the depth of my plant. So a little bit more. Just get that height right. It's really important when you pot something up that you don't fill it right to that top surface because when you water it, it'll just run off the edge. So you want to leave about, I don't know, 50 millimetres between the finished surface of the soil and the pot edge. I'm not worrying too much about this. It's not straight, obviously, because I'm going to remove most of that. You can see how misshapen this plant is, but I'm going to use that to my advantage, actually. I'm going to prune off these two larger limbs. Pruning, particularly at this time, will actually stimulate more growth. And I can dry these, use them in the kitchen, and by the time I've run out of this lot, these fresh ones will be ready to harvest. So I'm going to be quite brutal, I think. Come right in here. The second one, just going to come in again, quite tough. And I reckon I'll just take this tip out to even it up and encourage lots more new growth. Got to find a sunny spot for this. I hope you have a sunny few days in your garden.